Hey everyone, welcome to the next video. This time, as you can see, we will improve our UI a little bit and we work on correctly calculating these stats depending on the current equipped items. As you can see, it also works when we unequip or equip another item. Let's begin by opening the character blueprint. In the last video, we added the add stats to player and we cannot just uh, add a remove stats from player because we have here this function where we go here and we unequip the item and we run the script by function again. So this will be a little bit complicated to remove and add all the items one after one. So we use a simpler way. So just go to the equip item function here and instead of add stats to player we can recalculate these stats like so and what we want to do here is we want to get the equipped items and we can always use the values of these equipped items and with the for each loop we can go through all the items that are currently equipped and we can recalculate the current stats go to the add item stats to player and let's use these variables here so get them in here a little bit to the right and for every item we want to use our get item stats function where we plug in the item and we get the equipped stats like so but before we start calculating we should go to the AC equipment and we should create a new function where we reset our current stats. So we did something like this here at the beginning on the event begin play. We can copy and paste this and we plug in our base stats into the current stats so that they are refreshed. And then we can just before we start our loop, we can say reset current stats this is like a clear node just for the stats and then after we did this we can just loop again through all of these things so that we yeah add all the equipped items to these stats and instead of add stats to player we just use the recalculate stats here and then we just simply refresh like before. Let's test this. So I added some more stats to all of my items. So let me just pick some items up here. And when I press T and I, for example, equip the chest, you can see that my armor increases and my speed. And when I add another one, you can see how it gets changed. So speed is 770. And when I go now to the jeans, you can see that it goes down. And when I pick this one, it goes up again. And one thing that misses now is that when we unequip, we want to also reset everything. So let's do this. Inside the PP third person character, we have the unequip item function. And this gets called inside the event graph. So go in here. And somewhere here we have the event try equip and unequip item. And you can see we have here unequip item. And what we want to do here is of course the same we do here. So we copy this over. And after the unequip, we want to recalculate the stats. And of course we want to refresh the UI. So do this like that, pick some items up and let's test it. So speed is 600. I'm unequipping. Oh, let me remove this breakpoint and you can see speed is 500 again. Okay, next up we want to change the appearance of the equipment. So go into this widget here and let's see, let's close some of those boxes. And 
this vertical box is our stats. Let's make the vertical box part of the canvas panel, like this. And let's move it here to the bottom, like this. And let's see, the vertical box can be a little bit bigger. And here we can pull in 0.5. And here, uh, 1. Like this, so it's a little bit above. And then we can add some position Y, minus 50, like so, or let's say 30. And for the design, I want something very simple. So I wrap this with a border like this. And this border will be of black, oh, not the content. The brush itself should be black and I want to turn down the opacity to 0.5 and now let's go in here and under the draw S to have not border but rounded box like this and the corner radius we let's set it to 4 and the width to 2 and then fixed radius. Now you can see there's a really small edge corner. So let me increase this to 8. This looks much better. And next up, let's change the font size to something like 18. Let's see if we can change this for all of them. Nope. But with control selected, you can pick only the texts and then you can change all of them at the same time, like this. And to make the text a little bit more uniform, I select all of the horizontal boxes, right click, and actually we can't replace them. So you need to single select them and replace them with a uniform grid panel. And when you have a uniform grid panel, you can say here, on the child, zero, and then one for the column. You can do this for all of the horizontal boxes here. Okay, next up, let's see that we do here something to uh, remove the empty space. First, I want to add some padding and maybe some inner padding. So click on all of them and add five. And then let's make this like this. And on the border, we can press size to content. And as you can see, this shrinks down and let's make this five. I think this is better. So let's see how it looks. Yeah, much better. You can of course play with the values. For example, you can center here the horizontal alignment and then we have a little bit more space and you can of course use completely different approach for the visual, but I will just stuck with this it looks a little bit cleaner and if you have a problem with this white background like I do you can collect all the images and change here the tint to more black or blue color oh, let me get a black color like this and then don't forget to copy the SRPG and then let's get in here and do this or these two so now it looks more uniform and the last time a test pick some items up press T equip some items and you can see the speed is going up and all the other values and when I unequip 
I'm back at my 1010 510. And that's it for this video. In the next one, I think I will start working again on the inventory system, adding some storages and maybe a shopping system and maybe down the road also a waiting system. So yeah. So yeah, stay tuned for it. Bye.